Hey everyone, it's Andrew here. Wanted to do a quick video on dashboard filters. I ran into this with the recent project um, where I put a dashboard filter on and it was uh, filtering components differently than I wanted it to filter them, basically using the wrong fields to filter. So I wanted to specify, uh, just make a video so you, you can see how you can specify which field each component will be filtered on even though you select the field uh, on the dashboard. So let's dive into it. This is just uh, from Trailhead. This is just a sandbox uh, environment. Uh, on the left column, we have accounts, middle contacts, and then the right opportunity. Though they're all linked, this is just the default dashboard that kind of shows how your data is looking, but it works for the purposes of this video. So edit, I'm going to add a filter and show you kind of Basically, you know, let's say I wanted to filter this entire dashboard by created date. I don't want anything uh, older than this year. It's going to pretty much work how you would assume it's going to work. I apply the filter. I'll hit save and done. Um, I guess actually what I want to do is edit and show you how to look. So this little button right here, this little filter value in the component, this is referencing your dashboard filter. So you click this and you can see, okay, this component is for filter one filtered on created date. And if I go through all these components, it's going to have, oh, wrong button there, uh, filter, it's going to have created date. It's, it's gonna get correct field for all of these. But let me show you another example where it won't. If I add another filter and I go to close date on opportunity and say, I only want opportunities that close, let's say, this month, I guess this isn't super important to add that because we're not actually looking at that, but if we're looking at close date. We go over here to this column with things referencing opportunity. You can see close date is correct on all these components. Get out of that close date. And notice how it nicely splits up different filters on your dashboard. But if I go here to the contact components and hit the filter button, look at that birth date. That's a pretty weird uh, reference instead of close date, it's going to filter on birthday. And so, uh, you know, in, in this situation, dashboard doesn't particularly represent the information we want to see. But if I had a dashboard that had contacts on it and opportunities, and I, and I put the dashboard filter on there and just selected close date, um, it might really mess with some of my other components. So that's something important to know. When you're looking at dashboard filters. Uh, check your components, check which field they are filtering on, because as you can see here, birth date, that would, that would throw some things off. Although over here on accounts, uh, last activity would make a little more sense uh, as comparing it to close date. <clears throat> you might want to consider if you're doing filters like that, splitting dashboards up because it could mess with your components. Hope that helps. See you next time.